All right, guys, so what I want to do is rather than walk you through, like I said, every single feature of Lightroom CC, I really want to show you the things that I'm using the most. And the, probably the number one feature that I've started using the most is the dehaze filter now, or the dehaze slider. Now, this actually came out in June. It was an update to the Lightroom CC launch of back in April. Um, so it's something that hasn't been out a whole lot, but I've already find myself using it a ton because it's like this, it's like this magical slider that I absolutely just love. I don't even know how to explain how it's doing what it's doing. Um, but essentially what it does is, is if there's any kind of haze in your image, it's going to go in there and knock that out. And now when you do it, it does kind of mess up some skin tones. Uh, if, if you're shooting a Caucasian skin tone, you got that kind of the oranges, it, it will bring that out almost like the saturation slider, but I'll show you a little trick on how to get rid of that. Um, but man, if you are a landscape photographer, this has got to be getting you jumpy and excited because seriously, the dehaze filter is just killing me. It's so amazing. So let's just jump in here and I'm going to show you guys how I'm using it. Okay. So this shot right here was actually done. Uh, I was in Switzerland. I literally was just enjoying my time with my wife and uh, we we're on top of this mountain. We took a, a chair ride up to uh, the, the, this place called First Class and it was not, I wasn't there to shoot landscapes. I wasn't there to shoot the mountains or anything. I was just enjoying a vacation with my wife, but I happened to have my camera with me and I, this site was just beautiful up from the top of the mountain. So I shot the peak next to us and you can see, I mean, it's, 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 the photo's fine. It's a good photo. Um, it looks like here, let's, let's just zero this out here. Uh, we're on the graduated. Okay. So we're going to go to the basic. Uh, it's all zeroed out. I mean, there's nothing going on. If I add some contrast, yeah, it might help. I can bring my blacks down and bring my whites down maybe a little bit. You can do all that kind of stuff and maybe try to find something that works. Right. But let me show you, let's go ahead and zero this out by clicking tone here. Let me show you how amazing this is. Let's go down to the effects menu. I'm going to open that up and you got the dehaze slider now. Now, when I go to the left, it'll actually add haze to your image, which quite honestly, I haven't really found an effective way to use that in an image yet. Uh, maybe there's a time in the future where I want to add kind of this soft haze or something additional to my images. That might be uh, you know something that comes up. But right now, if you go to the right, you actually get rid of the haze. Check that out. Isn't that just like magic? I love it. So um, that's the dehaze slider, guys. Let's just use it on some other pictures here. What about, here was some water in this beautiful uh, little city as we were going through Switzerland. It was this emerald green water, but from the side of this photo, you wouldn't be able to tell it. We hit the dehaze slider and boom, there we go. Um, what about, uh, here's an image that was shot when I was in Australia. Same type of thing, guys. Hit the hay slider and look at that. The sunset just comes alive and that's literally how I remember it. It just had every color in the sky. It was absolutely beautiful. At that same time, there's a couple and I had them walk out there. And so here's actually, I was just playing with the hay slider. Here's zeroed out. Here's when I add the hay slider. Now you can't even see the couple down here. I'll just quickly add a little graduated filter in here. Now guys, if this is the kind of stuff where you're like, ah, wait a second, I didn't, I didn't follow along there. What, what's going on? I would definitely encourage you to go check out uh, Piger says Lightroom tutorials, because again, he's going to walk you through this A to Z. I just want to give you kind of these two, three minute little recaps of different things that's happening in Lightroom uh, as of recently. So um, you can see, I just use a little graduated filter. There's a before and after, and it just really just makes that sky come alive. So a couple other examples of how you can use it and here's one where we got this kind of sun flare look with this couple if i hit the dehay slider you're going to see it just kind of brings a little bit more tone in here now unfortunately it will as i mentioned previously it will kind of mess up some of the uh those skin tones and so what you can do is come down to the hue saturation luminance slider okay and i like to take my luminance and i'll just boost that up just a little bit and my saturation down just a little bit we went a little bit too far on that one and i typically could find a good nice even medium and then again there's kind of before and after now let's look at another image here let's look at this one this is actually an image that pi recently shot when he was out uh, playing with an underwater uh, camera housing and now this is actually if you look here it's a jpeg okay so i'm actually working at jpeg which most of us will know has a lot less data uh, than a raw file but that dehaze slider is not going to be stopped so if i go down to the hay slider and i click it watch what happens to that sky boom we get this beautiful sky now some of you might be saying yeah but trevor those skin tones are disastrous and you're absolutely right and so 
Again, let's go use that little trick. Let's go hue, saturation, luminance. Let's take our saturation down. Let's take our luminance up a little bit. And let's see, maybe even take out a little bit of reds, maybe even a little bit of yellows, okay? And now let's look at a before and an after. And we're almost there with a little bit more tweaking. I can get that skin tone just about the same. And yet we got that sky looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you, this DeHay slider is magical. I absolutely love it. Let's do one more photo real quick here. Same type of thing. Now on this one, I know that the moment I use the DeHay slider, I'm gonna just kill their skin tones again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, first I'm gonna just, let's just get a proper exposure on this shot. So we'll bring the exposure up just a little bit. I'm gonna even show you the difference. Here's vibrance, okay? This is how I used to do things when I wanted to add more tone to the color, or excuse me, more, more color to the, the tone of the skies and things like that. I would use that vibrance slider, but now I'm switching over, I'm using the haze slider a lot more. So there's vibrance, but let's, let's just anticipate already that their skins are gonna be, it's gonna be messed up. We've already noticed that in the past. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna bring my saturation down a little bit, I'm bring my luminance up a little bit, maybe even my yellows up a little bit. And now right there, and now we're almost getting that kind of uh, vampire uh, skin tones, right? More kind of more white there, which which is not really what we want. But again, I'm anticipating already that that the haze slider is gonna fix, or in other words, it's gonna destroy it. And so I'm, I'm kind of fixing it ahead of time. So let's go ahead and take that haze slider. Let's click it, move it up. And immediately, look how that sky just came alive. Now I'm gonna bring this back just a little bit. And I'm gonna go back up to my hue saturation luminance. And I'm gonna desaturate those skin tones just a tiny bit more, guys. Um, and again, here's a before and after. Now, of course, before I was underexposed as well, but did you notice the difference from the Vibrant Slider uh, when it was bringing some tones in the sky, but not nearly as much as the Hay Slider? So um, if you haven't already used it, I would definitely encourage you to go check it out. It literally has become my, uh, like I said, my favorite slider in Lightroom overnight, uh, and I'm using it a ton in my workflow. now. And if you're finding that you are constantly having to desaturate your skin tones, rather than go through and every single time do that, why not create a preset that you can then just click on to add some haze and desaturate your skin tones all at the same time. And in fact, SR Lounge does have some presets that will do that, um, that will allow you to, with one click, desaturate skin tones. But like I said, if this is all sounding kind of foreign to you, Go check out the Lightroom 5 tutorials and Pi will walk you through from A to Z. And I'm just kind of adding on a little extra, a little extra flair for you guys that you can uh, build into your workflows. So use it. I'm telling you, the high slider, it's, it's magical. <laughs> and so using the crop tool, if I hit auto here, it's gonna go and it's gonna actually fix that for me. So it's basically looking at the image and it's trying to find how can I straighten this image a little bit more